right here with the Hall of Famer. School Irish. What? <laughs> here with the Hall of Famer, Andre Ward. Andre, what's up, man? Um, see, see you on the scene. What brings you out to the fights, man? Man, I'm working with a main event, uh, the main broadcaster out of Australia. So, you know, obviously Tim Zoo making a lot of noise uh, in Australia, and then he's bringing it here, obviously, to the state. So, um, got the call, made sense. So here I am. Well, I know, I know you've been preaching back home in California, but so you're saying the broadcasting career, that's that's not that's not over then. Man, I just, you know, I get a lot of calls for a lot of stuff, bro. And I'm grateful that I'm in a position where I can really decide what I want to do. You know, I don't have to do much of anything if I don't want to. So um, I still enjoy it. You know, I, I like, it's a lot that I love about the game and being around the game and some things that I don't necessarily like being around the game. So I pick my spots when I when I come into town or be a part of something. Uh, but this, this one made sense, so yeah. We got, we got some, uh, I, I don't want to <clears throat> keep you too long, so we've got to get to some of the, the big fights uh, on the calendar. Um, <clears throat> Haney and Garcia is coming up. Uh, who are you leaning towards in that fight right now, Andre? I mean, even, even before all the stuff with, with uh, um, Garcia, you got to, you know, I think just the consistency that Devin has shown, uh, the maturation, uh, the growth, and, you know, he, he he's trending. You know, right? And to, he's he's trending in the right direction. You know what I'm saying? In terms of like, he's got momentum. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, so I think you got to favor him. But they got history. You know, they they know each other's style. Not in the pros, but in the amateurs. So a lot changes since the amateurs. But they know each other. And um, but given given the variable of, of sort of what you're seeing and hearing from Ryan Garcia, that that makes things interesting too. I don't really know what to make of it. Um, my thing is, I just hope that the fight actually happens. And uh, I'm excited to see it take place. Dre, how, uh, <clears throat> how, uh, how do you feel about Devin Haney picking up the torch as a Bay Area athlete and boxer uh, when you put down for the yeah. Bay Area so long? He hosted the fight in San Francisco. I love it. I think that's uh, that's what you're supposed to do. That's what you know. That's what it's about. It's like your records. Um, they're supposed to be broken. You know, I'm not. This ain't just about me. You know, so for Dev to go do what he did, it's a blessing. I think it's a good thing. And uh, yeah, I think it's all good. You know, it's been about <clears> six <throat> to seven years since you retired. Uh, Dang, it's been that long? Yeah, you look in great shape, man. I know you, people ask you this all the time, yeah. how you feel, you know, as far as you ever get that itch to come back. And, yeah. You know, are you good? You came out with the, the documentary and the book. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, man, I'm all, you don't always have an itch, man. I'm hardwired a certain kind of way. So that's, that's not gonna go nowhere, you know, but. You just learn, I guess, how to manage the itch better. <clears throat> and, um, you know, just as motivated as I was for fight for fighting, I'm motivated to do other things, bro. It's like, you know, like, like I think in boxing, we dull a hearing, you know? So when fighters are saying stuff like, I'm more than a fighter, or man, we gotta get the, you know, a union together. Like people ain't really trying to hear it. So it's more about you showing them. So I'm not doing what I'm doing to prove anything, but I hope that what I'm doing is showing people that I am more than just a fighter. I got a lot more to bring to this earth, to the world. Um, the boxing is cool, man, but it, it ain't just about that. So um, what good is it if I'm if I'm hanging around Las Vegas for the next 10 years trying to put on events and I don't have my faculties or I'm dealing with stuff that y'all don't know I'm dealing with? Like, what good is that? So, man, I, I got other gifts, talents, abilities, and other things God has called me to do, man. So I'm just trying to walk in those. I'm just trying to exercise those. You know, I come back to boxing for a little bit, tap in, and, <clears throat> and most of my work for boxing is really offline. It's stuff that y'all don't see, you know, tapping in with the athletes, being there for them, pulling up on them. That's that's really what my role is, but it's really offline. So people think, oh, he's not around. It's like, now I'm around a little bit more than you think, I'm just not in front of the cameras a lot. It's been 20 years. 2004, you won the Olympic gold medal That's in Athens. That's crazy, too. We perished. Making me feel yeah, old. We perished this year, 2004 to yeah. 2024. What do we have to do on the men's side, with the exception of Clarissa on the women's, to win a gold medal for the US, Team USA? Well, I, I've been speaking about this before. It's like similar to what I said about uh, the Haney question is that, you know, I'm the last male gold medalist. That's not a record that I want. Somebody's supposed to pick that torch up and, and, and put their name where my name currently is. And, and USA Boxing, they get mad when I speak about this stuff, but we got to get our stuff together internally. And there's a lot of things that, that, that should be done better, I believe. But one of the things is you have to include and pull on, you know, the alumni. I can't stress that enough. Other countries, they do it. They, they even hire the former fighters. All the top countries, they do it. We want to squeeze out the athletes where we got to almost fight and, and, and finesse to get in. Like, well, man, let me come. Around this time, around this training camp, oh, it's not gonna work, all right? You got there's always a reason why we can't. And that hurts the athlete. Nobody's trying to take credit for the work, but the athletes need to be around people who have walked that walk and accomplished what they're trying to accomplish. So that's like one big thing that I think that we gotta do better in. But as a whole, we got the best uh, talent in the world, I believe. We gotta really 
do some soul searching and ask some tough questions. Why are we not winning medals? We won a couple silver medals and we celebrate it. It's cool, that's a blessing. But we should be winning gold medals. The standard is not bronze. The standard is not silver. The standard is gold. That's what the other country's fighting for. So we coming in here just happy to be here and they say gold or bust. So we got to figure that out. Do you think they're, when it comes to bringing in <clears throat> gold champions, they're worried they can't afford you guys and your services and time? Like that's I, part of I it? I mean, <laughs> I think all that stuff could be worked out, but I think it's a little bit deeper than that. What do you think of uh, Jamal Harvey and Raheem Gonzalez? Like they look like two guys that could win the gold. I like it, man. I, ho I hope. I hope they, man. I hope they do. I think it's crazy that it's been 20 years since we've had a male. That's crazy, man. Like that ain't right. You were you were talking earlier about like Devin Haney's trending <clears throat> in the right direction. Do you think he's trending towards <clears throat> being number one pound for pound? I believe so. Yeah, I believe so. And I say that because if you can say what you want to say about the Haney's. One thing Devin took from Floyd and one thing Devin got is a work ethic. Mm -hmm. That's that's probably over half the battle. You step in this camp, you see an organized ran camp. You see, you know, size therapists. You see trainers. You see you see order, strength and conditioning coach, track coach. You see the stuff that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing. The only way he won't do it is if he gets beat and something happens, you know, and that can happen. It's boxing, but in terms of putting himself in position, he doing that. You gotta respect that. He, he's also uh, kind of bigger, <clears throat> just bigger frame than than the other great young guns. Gotta, cool. gotta, yeah, is that frame. part of it too? Like, I mean, you know, that's not really. Yeah, it's not really. Do you, um, you know, I, do you think he could stop Ryan? Because uh, it seems like from what Ryan's saying, he's gonna come out guns blazing. Hey, we gonna see. Ryan said a yeah. lot of stuff. We gonna see. Yeah, yeah I'm curious. Yeah. Which is, 